Migration is a rich, multifaceted and complex phenomenon that can't be separated from concepts of development and human rights. Migration, development and human rights are always linked. Each element is indissolubly connected to the others. Migration is a right and creates cultural, social and economic development opportunities here and there. An example, the World Bank estimates that migrants sent $400 billion to their home countries in 2012, more than three times the official figures devolved for development cooperation. Co-development projects, initiatives that create opportunities for growth both in the home and receiving countries, are designed to obtain benefits for the community as well from these private flows. Mexican migration into the United States is emblematic. Various associations have carried forward an idea, involve institutional partners who pay one dollar for each dollar paid by migrants into projects supporting the community of origin, creating a virtuous circle that has maximized the positive effects. But why is migration an opportunity for everyone? Today, companies and institutions are globalized and migrants are an essential bridge between different societies. In addition, the data show that, in OECD countries, they're more likely to create new businesses than the local population, giving jobs to 2.4% of all those working. On the contrary, no data indicate that more migration leads to more unemployment. Instead, migration is correlated to an increase in the demand for and offer of work. As a result, it's essential that migration is not managed just as a problem of security and going back is not the only possibility. We should remember that, contrary to what is often believed, it's mainly the mid-range of the population which migrates, and not the poorest. Therefore, the idea of let's help them in their home certainly doesn't reduce migratory processes. In this light, consistency is essential. Having strong aid policies and, at the same time, inconsistent macroeconomic strategies reduces the positive effects of migration and is counterproductive for everyone. To really promote integration and multiculturalism, recognition, participation and equal opportunities for minorities must be supported. Because it's only if human rights are always at the centre that people see themselves as able to create development to the advantage of all. But the application of rights is very different from nation to nation. For example, in most European countries, a student doing Erasmus for six months can vote in local elections, while a migrant who's held a permit to stay for several years doesn't have that right. On the contrary, a migrant born in the USA is American from birth, and the right to vote for foreign residents is recognized in many states. While the children of migrants born in Italy, even if they often only speak Italian, can't have citizenship until they're 18. These restrictions concerning citizenship and the right to vote raise important questions of legitimacy and democracy. For all these reasons, the role of local bodies is also important. They're close to migrants and townspeople and can do a lot to support co-development, integration and multicultural policies. Because migration is an inalienable right that's always been part of human history. Migration is not a problem, but an opportunity. 